Hey, are you a rebel? There's a lot of talk these days about swimming upstream, about defying the status quo, about sticking it to the man, about marching to the beat of your own drum and engaging in some semblance of insubordination, even the nonviolent kind. But while there's nothing inherently wrong with being a slightly wild and unorthodox one because you're embracing your true, authentic self, if you're not approaching your question everything mentality with the character of Jesus Christ, paired with the life purpose of loving God and loving others fully, then what happens is you eventually become this annoying, lonely, leather jacket-wearing, cigarette-smoking rebel who thrives on offending others and breaking the rules. Indeed, the only success that can be found when marching to the beat of your own drum is if you're yoked to the chariot of your creator, belief in a higher power, the mentality and the fruits of Jesus Christ, seeking God's wisdom and following his plan for your life. So yeah, you could be independent, you could be unique, you could be creative, you could defy the odds, you could swim upstream and go against the status quo, but only if the reason, the underlying reason for your actions is to stand up for what you know to be right, and only if your mind, your body, your spirit, your heart, your soul, and your will are under the structure, the law, the governance, the creed, and the canon of God's law and the Ten Commandments. It's only then that you have a foundation of faith and love to be a true way maker and to affect the change that you crave. So, be a rebel, but be a rebel like Jesus was a rebel, and not a rebel like, a, again, a cigarette-smoking, leather jacket-wearing guy who's flipping it to the man, all right? Two different ways to be a rebel. Which one are you going to be?